India is already dirty. India is first among states in carbon dioxide emissions from coal. Nobody else comes near us. We put out 134 million tons a year of carbon dioxide from coal. Carbon dioxide is the gas that's blamed for climate change and global warming. We also rank in any given year first to third in the release of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and particulate matter. Sulfur dioxide is what causes fine particles. Fine particles, which we're not attainment in the Evansville area, fine particles. Fine particles are known to cause asthma, death, heart attacks, strokes. They give you a general feeling of malaise because it's hard for you to breathe. Have any of you ever experienced a problem breathing in in in, in, in southwest Indiana in the summer? Not since far next left. <laughs> it's gotten better. Huh? I'm glad to hear that. You know, maybe it's that thousand foot stack out there that takes it away and makes somebody else have to deal with that problem. Indiana ranks fourth in the emissions of mercury. Mercury causes a dumbing down of our population. It affects fetuses in utero and, and causes a, a developmental problem of brain cells and neurological cells. And we're slowly dumbing down our population due to mercury exposure. One of the main paths is through eating fish that get contaminated with the mercury that comes out of the fire blood stack. Uh, but there's other pathways too. Somebody might say, what's a few points of IQ? I have a daughter with Down syndrome. It has nothing to do with mercury. But I'll tell you this, that her life would be different if she wasn't 55 IQ, if she had a 60 IQ. It's a tremendous difference what a few points can do. If you're a 98 IQ and you're up to 103, it's the difference between being below average and above average. You know, it's just as simple as that, a few points, and that's what mercury does to us. The Rockport Power Plant, I'll have a slide up here later that shows all these emissions from the Rockport Power Plant, but the Rockport Power Plant is one of the biggest mercury emitters in the, in the United States. And the United States is the biggest mercury emitter, except for probably China these days, in the world. Here's a map of why this is a problem around here. We live in the largest concentration of coal-fired power plants in the entire world. No place is quite like southwestern Indiana. They're everywhere. If you want to take a look later, this map is the same as the one over here. The tri-state all together, 134 million tons from Indiana, 97 million tons from Kentucky, and 111 million tons from Illinois. We're in trouble here. This is, this is the center of the global warming problem that the United States is helping to cause. This is where it happens more than anywhere else. We don't realize that sometimes because carbon dioxide, for the most part, is an innocuous gas. It's what we breathe out. You know, it's not a poison as such, but it is causing serious problems with our climate. I use this slide, I call this 4,000 megawatts. That's the Rockport power plant back here. This is the calling power plant for Beckard, and this is Alcoa. That was shot oh, back some time ago. I happened to be flying early in the morning one day in the summer, and, and there was this fog, and we flew down the river, flying up the river, and, and I saw this, I thought, what, three of them at one time? That's pretty good. Most of the time, though, you couldn't shoot this picture because you could get, you could get that one and this one, but this one would be invisible because it's, it's so smoggy around here most of the time. We've seen these headlines in the paper too. If you if you take the Courier or the Courier Journal in Louisville, we we see this kind of headlines on a regular basis that pollution is a problem. Pollution is a problem with our health. Pollution is a problem with our with our sensitivity. It's a problem with our ability to educate ourselves. Rockport, Indiana, is already one of the most toxic polluted communities in the United States. Spencer County ranks 13th in the nation as being toxic polluted. Now what do I mean by toxic? Toxic is what's defined by EPA as having releases of chemicals 
that are harmful to human health. Spencer County, population 20,000 people, 13 worst in the nation. I just looked that up today. And it's mainly almost exclusively due to AK Steel and the Rockport Power Plant. The Rockport Power Plant puts out, like I said, 1,040 pounds of, of mercury, 16,700,000 pounds of CO2, 44,000 tons of sulfur dioxide, 18,000 tons of nitrogen oxide, and 9.5 million pounds, 9.5 million pounds of toxic chemicals. That's the Rockport Power Plant. Now it provides some employment. I was out there doing a job about, no, I guess it was about two and a half years ago, and I think I probably saw about 30 people working out there. I don't know what the total employment is. I think it's probably about 150 or 200 people. It's not a big employer. $2.4 billion were spent to build that plant, and you got less than 200 jobs out of it. And what did you get? Well, 44,000 tons of, of sulfur dioxide has created a huge amount of fine particle matter in the region. And if any of you have asthma, you might point right back at those power plant stacks and those cooling towers as to why you might not have an easy time breathing, particularly in the sun. AK Steel, they came in, they got $100 million of Indiana taxpayer money to build this plant. Hundred million dollars that paid for infrastructure and and roads uh, around Mr. Meckles place and and, and stuff. A hundred million we paid for it out of our pockets. It was going to be a state of the art plan. Well, I don't know exactly what they define as state of the art, but it became the nation's largest water polluter and emits twenty seven million pounds of toxic chemicals into the environment. How many people do they hire? It's less than 202, isn't it? I'm not sure. I've never seen those, I've never seen those figures released. <laughs> well, that's a new bridge you get across there, so. AK Steel, Spencer County has a population of 20,596 people. AK Steel by itself emits 1,329 pounds of toxic chemicals per person in Spencer County. AP Rockport, 9,405,000 pounds or 457 pounds per capita, per capita for every person in Spencer County. That's a total of 36,779,000 pounds of toxic chemicals or 1,786 1 pounds per capita. Now, let's just compare that for a minute. Los Angeles County, California, Cook County, Illinois, San Diego County, California, and all the communities, all the counties that make up metropolitan New York City combined only in the 13 million pounds. Wait a minute, this is, 37 million and populations representing 25, almost 26 million people are about a third of what comes out of those two industries. Well now this is a question of justice and morality and I submit to you that what's happening to the people of Spencer County is unjust and immoral. And we can't afford any more of it. And like Grant said, this is not just a Spencer County issue because when the wind blows, it blows the stuff that's coming out of these industries over, over Vandenberg County, over Orange County, over Jefferson County, Kentucky. Everybody is in this game together. It's not just a local issue. So if you wonder why I'm here concerned about this, it's not because I just like to, like to come over to Rockport, you know, although I do. But it's not just because of that, it's because we have a significant moral and justice issue that we have to deal with. And I will tell you that...